Oh, it's a gorgeous night. Fans are amped up. I am too. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready for all the action. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Steps inside. Taken by Rust. Big save. And that one's broken up. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Crosby. Puck scooped up by Pacioretty. From the point, looks to make something happen. Jari's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Gensel's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Petrangelo's able to steady his team defensively and still contribute points. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Stevenson's got it on the offensive end. Takes it right in the chest. Oh, look at this chance. Can't connect. And they keep the pressure on. Move to the middle. And that's picked off in front. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Gaining steam here on the attack. Made the stop on that play. Great poke check on the reach. The Golden Knights played along the wing. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Pittsburgh's got the puck now. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Skates in behind the cage. Can't connect on the pass. Thunderous collision along the wall. Moves it to Malkin. Here he is in close. Leonard's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. More than half the period has expired. We're still scoreless. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff. And it comes up with the save. And no luck on that pass attempt. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, what a Stop by Leonard. Shot. There's another stop. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Heinen. Carter's exploring options with the puck. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. And now it's over to McGinn. Vegas looks to get things going down with the puck. Takes that one right in the logo. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And there's the save. Oh, there's one more. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. Carter swooping in on the attack. Puck exits the zone. They go on the attack through center. Oh, absolutely rocked on the play. No chance for him to avoid the hit. Here's a breakaway. But he can't get it to go. It looks like an overthink to me, James. You got three things in your head and you can't quite pick anything. And you end up with no shot on net. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Penguins probably got the message from their coach after that first period. Way too many turnovers. Game scoreless. Let's be a little sharper. 
Hangs on to the puck. And that's taken away. Easy peasy right there by Jari. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Stevens has won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, scores! Right on the doorstep. He pounces off a rebound and puts it home. Ivan Brannigan's got a good look at this one. Right through the five hole. He doesn't close it down. Vegas gets that one goal lead now here in period number two. Really competitive game. There's not been a lot to choose between the two teams, and now That's they've got tight. the lead here in the second period. Quick feed to Crosby. Takes the shot. Oh, and there's a great save by Leonard. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Vegas tries to break out from their own end. Fires it. Big time stop. Gets a piece of it with the glove. The goalie has to be sharp there. He's got a beauty backhander, and he delivers that thing on target again. Wow. Oh, man, he jumped right on top of him, went right over top of him. And it's a quick pass to Marshall Zone. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Matheson. To his teammate! And that carries off a stick. Pittsburgh's got it behind the net. Moves the puck across to Carlson. Move to the middle! And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Vegas has possession of it now. And that's picked off by McGinn. Heinen's gonna play it against the half wall. His reflexes on display tonight. Moves it quickly over to Matheson. Vegas has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. And that's a great heads-up play by Theodore. The Golden Knights take the puck through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Friedman. And serves up a little knock on the play. McGinn's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Here's a short pass to Marcheseau. Poked away by Pedersen. Moves it to McGinn. Pittsburgh's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Vegas takes hold of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Marcheseau. Fires it on net. Steps in front of the shot. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Vegas moves it ahead. And that's turned aside by Jari. Jari's done it again. Another terrific save. And he's kept this game close. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go, third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Pittsburgh's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. The Penguins have it against the wall. Quick feed to Crosby. Right up the gut, here they go. Taken along the wall by Rust. Couldn't make that one happen. He's got a step. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Getzel's got it across the line. 
turns him away. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Petrangelo's a solid defender when he's the last man back in those one-on-one -on -one situations, guys. That's his shutdown zone ability, and he can really calm down those scary moments for his squad. And now it's grabbed by Marino. Shoots it. That's turned away with the pad by Leonard. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. Moves it quickly over to Marino. Knocked away with the stick by Petrangelo. Steps across the blue line. He grabs the puck here on the point. Gives them nothing in front. And he moves it up to Zucker. And that's just out of reach. Puck picked up by Zucker. Big open ice hit. Was it ever. He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Matheson. Here's a howitzer at the net. Denies that opportunity. Oh, great left save. Where'd that come from? I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Couldn't find the intended target. The Golden Knights go to work on offense. That's not going to fool them. Stops them again. Jari's going to hang on just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Theodore's heat seeker zone ability is that long range wrister that he likes to throw towards the net, guys. Despite the distance, though, he still gets power and accuracy behind his shot. Puck grab by Tuck. Scooped up along the wall by Friedman. Couldn't complete the pass. Hammers one, comes up with a stop. Takes the puck at the point. Gets his stick on it. Another stop by the goaltender. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Receives the pass. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. From behind the net. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Vegas has it near the wall. Quick pass to Stevenson. And that's off a stick. Under a minute to go in the third. Just a simple save by Leonard. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Gensel's getting my vote here, guys. I know it's been a tough night offensively for both of the players that we highlighted, but I think he's been effective even without getting on the score sheet. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Well, that'll get a response. Well, you felt this one coming for a while. Yeah, I thought they'd run out of time and not get a chance to drop the mitts. Here you go. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. Pittsburgh's got possession here in their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Rust. Breakaway! Off the post and in the net! They score! He beat him with the quick release there, James. That thing hits the post, sure. But it's his release that gets that puck away too quickly for the goalie. This is how you create the offense. I mean, you can't be digging the puck out of your skates all day. Tape to tape, off you go. They can't recover defensively, and it ends up in the net. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. High well, driving hit. James, I didn't see that coming. He closed the ice, and he puts it into his own net. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Hammers a shot. Club save. Stone's able to get the shot on goal. Now he's using his hands for good, not for evil like in the fight. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. 
Vegas wins the draw. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken by Pacioretty. And it is all over with this one. The Golden Knights spent most of the night chasing the puck, and yet they still get the win. Well, I guess they got in enough games to score enough to win, but that game was a squeaker only because they were the luckier team tonight. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.